Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of April 19, 2021. And this week I got four topics that we're gonna talk about. First one is X-Wing that uh, was able to do an uh, autonomous flight from gate to gate using a Cessna Caravan, pretty large aircraft, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Des Delta that posted a $1.2 billion loss for Q1 of 2021. Not good, but there is actually something good on the horizon, I think. Uh, we'll talk about the 75th anniversary of uh, Bonanza, and uh, they came up with a new aircraft. And then we have a few industry briefs at the end of this, so let's get to it. <music> First thing this week is the company X-Wing and uh, they used a Cessna Grand Caravan 208 Bravo with a safety pilot on board, but the safety pilot basically just looked at gauges and they completed a fully autonomous flight from gate to gate, including taxi, takeoff, cruise, landing, and taxi back to the gate. Um, kind of a first, kind of a big deal. Uh, this is something that I know a lot of companies have been working on. Their goal is to basically start to transport cargo using fully autonomous larger aircraft. Now, um, as somebody in the industry, is this something good? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure because uh, because this has obviously the potential to take away jobs from pilots. Uh, from a safety standpoint, I'm sure there's going to be a safety pilot in there for a long, long time before this gets approved. I'm always torn because I love technology and I, I, I love the fact that we can do this kind of stuff. But then I'm also torn because uh, because of the uh, the employment uh, aspect of this thing. So it's always kind of a, a sour news when I see that this is this is happening. But this was really the first full autonomous flight from gate to gate so uh, something to um, to look into for the future Delta is in the news as well they lost 1.2 billion dollars in the Q1 of 2021 this is the actually the fourth quarter in a row that they have losses uh, not surprising in in the grand scheme of things uh, the, but the good news is they have an increase in passengers which means that at the moment they're making four million dollars every single day uh, in March so that's kind of the silver lining I guess it looks like the airlines are coming back uh, into a, a much more normal now the, the passenger employment I still is still much much lower than it was two years ago in 2009 the last time we had a, a normal um, well, normal life, I guess. Um, Delta said that they lost between 100 and 150 million in March, just in March, by not selling the middle seat in their aircraft. So obviously that's a big part of the loss in addition to uh, fewer passengers that are flying. Uh, it looks like some, some good on the horizon. Uh, Delta could be in the positive by the end of the summer. So we'll see if that's true. And uh, if it is, hopefully we can report on that. The next thing this week is Textron uh, celebrating their 75th anniversary with a brand new Bonanza. A G36 Bonanza was announced at Sun and Fun. And uh, this thing has a cool color scheme. And actually the color scheme is called Olive Ann Beach uh, Color. They, they, she created, so Olive Ann was the, the beach CEO for 32 years. She and her husband founded the company and she was the CEO for many years. And so they have this beautiful blue as the paint scheme for both the interior and the exterior. You can see a picture right here. Uh, the, the G36, now if you know Bonanza's, great aircraft, uh, beautiful interior, uh, great performance. And this is no different. A G1000 NXI inside of the aircraft. You have a Continental IO550B five, uh, five with six cylinder engine, a cruise speed of 170 knots, 920 miles of range, and 1,060 uh, pounds of payload, which is which is pretty big for an aircraft that small, I want to say. It's not a large, large aircraft. So, uh, cool performance, no pricing at the moment. I'm expecting it is not cheap, but, uh, but that's what aircraft are. Okay, a few industry briefs. Uh, SpaceX was selected by NASA to actually create the next landing uh, lunar lander uh, as part of the Artemis program. With uh, this, this is going to be the first lunar lander uh, made by a co commercial company, not made by NASA. The, the, the total contract is about $3 billion, so quite a bit of money. Uh, knowing anything about SpaceX, it'll be interesting to see how quickly they get this done and how quickly we get humans back on the, on the moon. Uh, there was a mishap in uh, Florida, the Florida Air Show, very close to where I used to fly on the uh, Space Coast. That was at Cocoa Beach Air Show. There was a TBM Avenger that lost an engine and landed in the beach, in, in the water near the beach. You can actually see the, the dramatic photos that were taken where this aircraft just crashes and, and there were people swimming not very far from it. Uh, a lot of people asked me afterwards and said, 
uh, how come you landed so close to the swimmers? And, and I'm not sure, quite frankly. Uh, having flown in that area for over a decade, I can tell you that this was always on my mind. You take off, there's houses everywhere. Uh, the, the few roads that are on this, uh, in this section, you can't land on because there's always cars. My guess is that the beach was pretty packed with people, not a place where you want to land, obviously, in an emergency. So um, you get a ditch in the water somewhere. I did a great job with landing. I can tell you water landing is not easy. This thing had the retractable landing gear, so the gear was retracted, comes in a very high pitch, very slow speed, landed, got out of it. He took his headset with him. You can see in the pictures, kind of interesting, and then just uh, ditched out. So they have the aircraft, they recovered it. it uh, it's out of the water now. Uh, he worked on, on this thing for several years to restore it, and it had been restored for less than a year and flying around. The NTSB and the FA are doing their investigation to figure out what happened, but I'm glad no one was injured. I'm glad the aircraft was recovered and the pilot came out alive. So that's the best possible thing you can get out of uh, an incident like this. That's it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, do the things that you do. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, if you like drones, we have a drone show as well going on every week on Friday as well. Uh, this is our 100th uh, um, episode for the drone show, so I'm really excited. Uh, we have large aircraft we talk about, new FAA regulation for drones. We have a, an update on the Mars drone as well. So if you're excited about this, just head over to the uh, other channel and then uh, watch it over there. So that's all I have. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week.